Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and if you've watched my previous videos on the Camaro you might know that I'm doing a custom dash which I made out of carbon fiber and since I'm not using my stock speedometer or dummy lights or anything like that I covered the entire dash with carbon fiber cut out the spot for the fuel gauge because that's the only one I will be using because I have aftermarket gauges mounted uh, in the center of the vehicle and then I also have a Phytech computer that will show me all of the you know oil pressure uh, coolant temp rpms all of that that is mounted on the dash and then for a speedometer i'll be running this gps which i figured i'd just do a quick little review and look at so if you guys are interested it will be linked down in the description from amazon maybe i can find it a little bit cheaper i did order mine from uh, summit racing along with all my other car parts which those videos will come soon this is the drive smart 65 very nice uh, I think I picked it up for 200 normally 270 I believe. Um, it's got a lot of capabilities, though. It's got a 6.95 inch display, very clean screen, uh, hands-free calling, voice activated, 3D buildings, driver alerts, national parks, uh, your history, Foursquare, TripAdvisor, free map updates, traffic, live traffic if you have it connected to your phone with the app. You just download the DriveSmart app on your phone and it will send all live traffic updates, weather, all of that to your device so you can keep track of it while using the GPS. It will also send notifications such as your social media, text messages, phone calls, all of that will display here on your GPS. Very nice. It's also got built-in Wi-Fi so you can do updates and get different uh, stuff for this as well. On the device itself, the instruction manual is basically nothing. It's a safety manual and doesn't really include anything. Uh, for the charger, it just includes the vehicle charger, which is, is the old style USB. Luckily, I have a few of those laying around the house, so I can charge it inside as well. It's got a uh, internal battery. As far as the connection on the back, here you can see Garmin, the ring where the mount is located, charging port can support up to a 32 gigabyte SD card and the power button. You got your uh, speaker, microphone up top, and you can just tell it's a nice sleek design. It's a pretty good size GPS. Here are the mount. You got this tab on the bottom. That simply just goes into the bottom and it clicks in. Very simple. And then to remove it, you just push this tab and it comes right out. So very easy. Looking at the device, I'm not going to go into too much detail because I don't want to show maps and all of that. But the warning, uh, as far as apps, you got the owner's manual, uh, phone access, live traffic, live weather, weather radar. All your notifications will pop up on the screen. If you don't look at them right then, you can go into apps, click smart notification, and your notifications will be found right here. Uh, trip planner, backup camera if you have a wireless uh, backup camera, voice command. And then volume, you can adjust the master volume, navigation volume, uh, call volume, all of that. So that's nice. And then in settings, oh, there's one of my notifications right there. So updates, this is where you would do uh, the built-in Wi-Fi. You do your updates very easy. Uh, you can set your map and vehicle preferences. The vehicle, you have a few different options, like six or seven different options, something like that. Um, 3D, you can also go north up or track up. I have the map detail set as more, and then you have normal and less. It'll show you less information and stuff like that. The theme, layers, auto zoom, the maps that are installed. Navigation, you can set up your avoidances, whether you want to avoid U-turns, carpool lanes, uh, toll roads, stuff like that. You can set all that up. Uh, the routes and all of that so I mean it's the time is automatic I have it set up automatic connected to my phone and everything so once again Bluetooth and Wi-Fi enabled here's your settings for that you got driver assistance the wireless camera the display brightness and color mode traffic modes it'll also you can select preferences uh, whether you want to be warned or shown you know restaurants and gas stations that you're passing by or you can have it set up to 
show you where red light cameras are. So if there's an intersection with a red light camera, it'll notify you of that so you know. Um, other than that, you got your unit and time, which I have it set up automatically, and miles per hour, language and keyboard, and then just the device information. Here you can click where you want to go. Here you can save your home. I have saved work and home. Uh, you got your address book, all of it, national parks, intersection, anything you're looking for. And then it also has the capability of doing the OK Google. But if you do that, it might activate your phone at the same time it activates your Garmin. So it's best to say OK Garmin. Say a command. And then you just tell it where you want to go and you're good. Exit. So very cool, very nice feature. Um, other than that, I mean, we can view the map. Here up at the top, you can kind of see that it is Bluetooth connected. You have your phone uh, that has access to it, your signal. This is my Wi-Fi connection. This is the symbol to show that you are connected to the app that's downloaded on the phone, the battery, the weather, and time. If we go to the map and you click on, let's say, the speedometer section, this comes up because normally it's just a speedometer reading down here in the corner. But if you want it bigger, you just click on the speedometer, pulls up this. Uh, lots of different information, how far you've traveled, and the bigger speedometer, the direction you're going, and all of that. So when I'm not using the GPS itself, I'll be using this as a speedometer. It's a little bit bigger, easier to read. And then it also has a setting to where if you're speeding, it'll notify you, you know, caution, slow down. Uh, or you can shut that off, and then whenever you're speeding, it just kind of glows red, but it doesn't annoy you with the you know, your speeding warning. Other than that, you can click on the southwest. It's basically down in the right corner. You have the direction you're going. So it will tell you. You can go in here and you can select whichever ones you want it to, to display. And then after that, there's three dots at the bottom corner. If you click on that, you can click any of these options, phone, so you can look through uh, your contacts and all that, even though you can do that through the voice activation. You can look at traffic, live cameras on the road, uh, what's up ahead as far as, you know, destinations or anything along your route, trip data, weather, and all that. I mean, it's a very, very cool device. Uh, a lot of features on this device. I've really liked it. I've only had it a couple days. Um, but it's been really nice, and I think it's going to work great in the Camaro. But let me know your guys' thoughts. If you guys are interested, once again, it will be linked down in the description. And please stay tuned for the future Camaro videos. We'll be doing, you know, rotors and calipers and wheels and tires and exhaust and a whole bunch of stuff coming soon. So stay tuned for that. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this, and I'll see you guys next time. Once again, hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber.